it going, everyone? And today, in this episode, we're going to start switching our time soldiers over to an LCD. We're going to get rid of that funky old Matsushitsa monitor. And we're going to put in a little, nice little LCD. Uh, okay, I took the marquee off because I was wondering why that one side was kind of dark. Well, you can see we got oh some sort of critter. Uh, a critter home up here. Looks Doesn't look like a home. Looks more like a... Oh, come on, get out of there. Looks more like a resort than a home. I'll stick that right down in there. That bulb's really funky. Nice, huh? Gotta look out for vermin turds. Uh, the marquee I took out was kind of... Uh, I don't even know where the hell I put it. I know I didn't throw it out. But, guess what I did? I know you don't care, but we're, I'm going to tell you anyway. Look what I got here. I have got us a brand spanking new marquee. That's just a hair too small. <laughs> uh, I'll get a, we'll trim it, we'll put a trim in on either side. It's a little tall, but I hate to cut that down. Here's our top bar, but I think think what I'm going to do here on that so we can bring that down a little bit. Is a two, we have a black see we have a black line. Come on. Stepper. You have a black line all the way along here, all along the bottom. I think if I can trim that down and bring that down, oh, about a half an inch. And I'm losing my mind. I can't find nothing. <sighs> yeah, I stuck it on top. Damn. There we go. That's, I think we're going to be okay. That's going to work out pretty good. Like I said, we'll trim it out on either side. So we, and that'll, that'll look really good. Up there, we have that. Plus, we have... Brand new control panel overlay. I think the control panel overlay is going to be a little, little long, but we can we'll trim it down as well. And I got one more surprise for you that I have not even looked at yet. That's in that big flat box I showed you. I'm sure you can guess what that is. That's going to go in there. So let's let's get this out and see what it looks like. Uh, don't look at that. That that's nothing. <laughs> that's an upcoming project that we're going to have. But for starters, let's let's get this out, and I want to take a look at it. I haven't even looked at it yet. Oh man, okay. I really. Really packs this, this good. Now 
Now this isn't new. This is used. This was the only, the only one I could find. I mean, so we're gonna look at this together. I had to. I didn't. wasn't really happy with the amount I had to pay for it, but when it's the only one in the entire free world, you have to do what you got to do. I said it's used it's got a couple little kinks in it here and it got bent right across there but it's not hacked up I don't even know how it's gonna fit oh guess what folks We're going to be pretty darn lucky here. I think what we'll... Tell you what, let me... Let me get this old glass out of here. Get the old glass out. And the old... Monitor basil. And then we'll take a look and see what we got going on. Because I know this glass and everything's going to slide up under. I don't know. It's not going to slide up under that far. We may have to do a little trimming on our our new basil. But okay, now I think what we'll I think we'll have to uh, trim it down a little bit at the top. We'll trim it down a little bit at the top so we can move up a little bit. We'll see once we get the. Uh, monitor put in we'll get a better idea of what we're gonna have to do but we're gonna have to trim it a little bit to get it to fit in here just right and get it centered for the around the LCD monitor we may even be able to use The old one. Has a pattern. Center that up. And then you can see what we'll have to. Take a little off of here. And a little off of the top. Be cutting the. Cavemen I guess you want to call them. There's a couple of their. Heads off. Isn't that what you're supposed to do with them? So I think we'll be able to line that up and we'll be able to cut that and make it to fit. We'll do it that way. Okay, this is what we got underneath. We gotta get the rest of this stuff out of here and see what we, we have to work with. So let me, I'll get my cordless and we'll get get these screws out of here and get this plastic off and see what we got going on and see what we're gonna have to do okay we got uh, another basil off where oh there it is <laughs> took that off uh, we got two nuts or four nuts here here and two at the top and now it's ready to pull out of there so let's So it's kind of nice of Atari to give you these these handholds here, <laughs> and like they they knew that uh, this was going to have to be replaced at some point. <laughs> All right, 
Okay, now we have a big canyon hole here that uh, we need to put something in. Uh, I don't know if I got, got anything to put in that hole or not. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Um, let me see here. I think. We are going to go with that. Now I've been looking at this a little bit. I, I had it sitting in there once. Um, I like the screen. The screen's going to be fine. Uh, we can we can shrink it down a little bit, you know, to fit. This is a 22. But what I was uh, looking for when I uh, was looking for a monitor was the right width and close to the 19 as possible. This is just a little bit longer than the, than that 19 inch CRT, but it's pretty much the same width. Might be just a hair narrower in here, but we're okay there. Um, but I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if we shouldn't move the LCD monitor up a little closer to the to the basal. See our basal sits right in here and we have this big big distance between you know that and the screen our glass and our screen and the screen's going to be kind of way down in there. And I'm thinking that maybe we should bring it up a little closer to this plane. Uh, which wouldn't be very hard to do. Uh, we have just some four point, some square head screws along the sides here. And I don't know what the hell is going on down here. I think that slides down in. Maybe. But anyway, there's a there's two two boards on either side and along the bottom here that this this board right here rests down on. If I can get that out of there and I can either raise those boards up further in the cabinet or I can uh, run another board right along the top of it and then set this back down on top of it To to bring that screen up a little bit closer I'm just afraid there's gonna be a bad. I don't know. It's just not gonna look gonna Look weird Be like you're kind of looking down down in a canyon I don't even know if we're going to use this or not. See, the other thing I, I worry about too is, well, there'll be a back on the, on the machine, so you won't be able to see, you know, out through, you won't get a glare in from outside once the back's on it. I don't know. I am going to have to percolate on this a little bit and see what I want to do. Right now, I think I'm going to, I want to bring that bonding panel up a little higher to get it a little closer. If you know what I mean. I'm kind of rambling a little bit trying to trying to decide what what should be done so let me think on that and then we'll 
I'll decide and we'll go from there. Now I decided that I'm gonna get everything all hooked up and just kind of lay the monitor in there and test test it to make sure that uh, we're gonna that it's gonna work. Uh, we have our little board here. They're pretty easy to to wire up. Let's see, we're gonna use this this plug right back here. That's our wire that goes down to our board set. And this will be our VGA out. And that one, I don't know what the, that's a VGA in it looks like. So you can convert it over to whatever. But uh, I want to get this wired up and test the monitor in it to make sure that that monitor is going to work with this board set. <clears throat> okay, this is the old plug. This is what came off of the off of the monitor. That has our red, green, and blue on it. And you can see it's pretty self-explanatory, except for a couple of these on here. We have the red, green, and blue, which the brown on here is our blue. Right there. And this bare wire is our ground, which our ground is out here on the end on the plug. And the gray wire is our sink wire, which is our white wire coming out of our our harness here. I don't know what the heck they had going on, but I went down and checked. Back here, don't mind, I'm, I sit on my little stool. Uh, let's see, you can see our white coming down out of there is our, our V-Sync and our V green which is our one of our colors and the black is cut off which was supposed to be the ground and they used that shield or I guess you want to call it the the bare wire is what I call it it's there it's the brown there it is you can just see it right right there so if you follow it around to the other side our plug to do tests. Oh, where are you at? There it is. You can see, just see it in there. It goes into our our V ground, and here's our red and our blue. The yellow's not used. So what I'm going to do is. I'll get that wired up. Uh, we won't be needing our isolation transformer in here anymore either, so we can... Uh, more wiring. I get to cut that out and cut that back out and do some more wiring. But what I want to do is just temporarily get this hooked up so I can test the monitor and make sure that that monitor is going to work and we don't have to <clears throat> hunt down another one. Now to get our power it comes with another little pigtail which plugs in right over here on the end and it goes right down to our uh, 5 volt on our power on our power supply so let me go ahead and I'll get this wired up like I said I'm just going to do it temporary and we'll get an idea as to how that monitor is going to work in here okay I got it all wired up just I put them together and just put tape on them so and if everything works out then we'll do up the wiring and get it wired really good so we don't have to worry about that that's off the isolation transformer that's just dead there uh, we got our 5 volts hooked up for our little board here for our little converter and we have the Let's see, the monitor is on, it's just sleeping. So now let's turn it on and let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully we don't have a repeat of uh, the old CRT. Okay, we got our light on there. Let's 
still no signal. Alright, let me see what's going on. Found the problem. And see what it is? Hell, I'm not afraid to show you that I screwed up and forgot to plug in the board. I don't know if I can get that on there one-handed. There we go. All right, now let's try it again. Got our light. Still no signal. Okay, now I racked my brains out with this. What little bit of brains I do have. Uh, I even got a different monitor out and I still couldn't get it to work. I checked all my wiring again, uh, changing the sink wire to the yellow which is our V-Sync on our board and nothing uh, changed the ground even tried a different ground to make sure that uh, we were grounded properly and changed the VGA cord I had a brand new one okay well you know you never know you might have a bad one still nothing just said no signal and I went as far as thinking that our little board here was bad that I got a bad one well this is this is my first time screwing with one of these and they come with absolutely no instructions or nothing I mean what you get is that board that wiring harness and that wiring harness Oh, I even, because see, these will run on either 5 volt or 12 volt. Okay, well, I figured, I thought to myself, well, okay, maybe I got too much going on on my 5 volts and we're drawing it down, drawing the power supply down too far, so I put it over on the 12 volt. Still, nothing. And like I said, I went as far as to think that, okay, our board is bad, so I ordered another one which is okay because we'll use it we'll use it down the line and see so you have these four buttons here you have up down menu and uh, this is SW this I guess this is your switch well I hadn't messed with it I was you know going through my menu and all that well I push push that button right there the switch button and lo and behold it came on now I know it needs adjusted that you know it looks horrible it's too much green and all that in it but we're not using that monitor we're gonna use the 22 that's in up in there now this is only a 17 this is a little bit older monitor because what I was thinking well maybe that monitors too new to pick up the signal off of this board. So I went to an old Dell 17. But like I said, we still didn't have nothing. Not until I finally just decided to come down here and looked at that button and said SW. Well, I, that switches it from, I don't know, your Y, P, B, P, R, I don't know what the hell. Anyway, it switches it from here to there. This would be your input if you were using RCA jacks. And you would switch it over to use that input. And then you have a VGA input. And then you have this one, which uh, I can't find anywhere on there where it labels it. This is PS3 up here. Well, this switches it from, from here to the PS2, or P, P2, which is probably this one. So we switched it over, and now it works. 
So if you happen to run into that problem where you get everything all hooked up and, and you have no signal, uh, first thing to do is to switch it. You know, because I knew the board was working to a certain degree because we have our red light is on telling us that we got power to the board and I was able to go through the menu uh, through the board to the monitor but we just weren't getting anything from the board set. hope I'm explaining this uh, so you can understand it but so if you do have a problem with this not working when you hook it up switch it and she comes on that's what we got so now let's let's hook it up to the 22 and see what we get on the 22 inch monitor I just wanted to go over this and let you know what the hell I had found out while I was screwing around okay I'm gonna let you see it first Yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> Still got a lot of adjusting to do. Wish I could invert that. I'd like to keep this over here on that side. But. Damn, that's not too bad. I'm going to do a little adjusting, move the screen over, and I think we might be pretty close to being in our, our 19 inch range. Not too bad. I do want to bring this monitor up closer to the to our basil here. Shoot, that's not too awful bad, is it? You could use a little bit of uh, color adjustment, maybe brighten it up a little bit. We can definitely do that. Hmm. Could move our monitor down. Well, let me screw around with the settings and see if I can't get this centered a little bit better and then I'll and maybe brighten it up a little bit and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like after I get that far. Okay, I got it adjusted to where I feel it's uh, pretty decent. Uh, it's not going to look, got kind of a glare on it from the... Uh, let me... It looks better actually in gameplay Oh, I hate this age of Rome <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so we got it, got the monitor working. Finally, after a lot of screwing around and and me having my head up my rear end, but I did did get it figured out. And I think that's going to be it for this video because it's uh, been long enough. And then I will get this all squared away back here. Uh, where I'll get my plug for our monitor uh, wired in and we'll get, to, get that mounted and all that so we can... Have that all done up, and then in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to get this mounted where we like it. We're going to, I'm going to pull, and we're going to bring everything up closer to the to the top here, so we can total look a lot better, and we won't have a, a you know dark area or whatever underneath. Oh, push the start button. <laughs> So I hope you liked the video. hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And in the next episode, like I said, we'll continue working on this. So until, <laughs> so until next time. So until next time. See ya.